So, off track, fine arts and gifts. Been in here for a while. If you're in Westminster, Maryland, it's right around here. And one of my favorite places is the library. And you've seen me video at Hearts Me Collaborative, which is absolutely wonderful. This one is only open, I think. Let me see if they have their hours on here. Fridays, 12 to 4, Saturday, 10 to 4, Sundays, 12 to 4, because it's actually volunteer. Oh, and there's a number if you want to do by appointment. Volunteer run, and it's a collective. They do consignment, but they share all this amazing art. They have a really neat, if you work at a monastery school or anything, they have really cool magnetic right. ones. So you get the purple one. That's so cool. You, and I'll get another cover. And I'll play one with you. All right, let's see. I think, let's try, I'll take Yeah, so right. I just want to show you guys around here. And I love the idea of a collective of artists volunteering and they do consignment so part of the sales goes to covering the rent uh, I love that concept so that's why I'm sharing it so it's a collective of I believe nine artists and if you followed share hope through art for a while you're gonna recognize let me see if Miss Gale has a photo there's no photo of Miss Gale but she was on the cover of cover of Carroll County Times with Share hip through art with something something she created and donated. And you guys do classes, right? We do workshops. We're okay. having a Baltimore screen painting workshop next Saturday. Screen painting. What is that? Artist Michael paints Baltimore folk art, traditional screen painting, which has been done in Baltimore City. People brought the country to the city by painting their front doors and their front windows of their row homes in beautiful scenes where you cannot see in the home, but the homeowner can see out who's walking by on the street. Wow! It's almost like a magic trick, but it's a beautiful folk art from Baltimore City. Wow, I, I'm i from Baltimore City and I, oh, I never even realized that. Down. Here's Michael's history here. Here he is painting. I'm trying to see, man. I got my purse on that. You ever go to Fells Point or Highland Town? Yeah. Little Italy, you will find beautiful Baltimore screen paintings. Down near the oh, Hunt Festival wow. on Hampton. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, you'll see a hand painted screen. And then you can actually see out of it. In the windows. And then because they're so popular, Michael started to frame them and we sell them as paintings for your wall as well. Wow. But here's one, for example, here. And you pop it right in your window. Oh my goodness. So they actually fit, that one fits in the window. Sure. That's, That's how they started on original window screens. Wow, that would be so fun to see. He'll be here Saturday. demonstrating and teaching a workshop Saturday outside. Right outside. Because what's on Saturday? Our Saturday is our Evergreen Fest. And it's from 10 to 4. We only have it once a year. We're taking over the whole parking lot. And we've invited guests. And we have live music by Native American flute wow. artists and amazing uh, harmonica players, blues players. It's just going to be great. And it's a party. So you got to come next Saturday, wow. November 4th. That's exciting. Do you feel like art helps individuals with mental health? Or? Absolutely. A lot of uh, friends that maybe cannot verbalize what they're feeling, they can get it out through art in many medias. And as you can see, we have paint and drawings and printmaking and wood. And it's the best way to express what you're feeling or your frustrations or your message that you're trying to get out or communicate with others and maybe you don't have the words to communicate with. Thank you so much. That's so insightful and I 100% agree with all of that. Um, you know, I love using art. I do a lot of memorial art too. Beautiful. So. Beautiful. Well, start yeah. with children 
immediately. As soon as they can yeah, because you the the act of not being able to express it. Yeah. I mean, kids do not often know the words. Um, it all starts with the kids, I think. Yeah, I want to do it with family, so it's kind of like. My hope is soon a video of people painting their memorial art while they're talking about their loved ones. So it actually goes online, and it's actually like a keepsake that's like alive and well. Like those memories that exist in the universe. And beautiful. And yeah. we hear people say, "Oh, I can't do that all the time." Well, we don't believe that. Just, just let it flow. Let just try. And you can do abstract yeah. art. I love sunsets because I'm of like, course. you can just smear it around and say Use there's the yellow. You want. It's yeah. and shapes. It's all it is. I love it. And I'm not an artist. My older siblings are. So the fact I can do it, I'm like, yeah, you That's can totally right. do it. That's right. Like, the fine skill side. It's like there's many forms of art that don't require artistic talent. It's just more healing. and. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. Check out Fine Arts. Maybe we'll try to come by on Saturday right down in downtown Westminster, Maryland, USA.